What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It is the 14th week of the cut, the 14th episode. Glad you guys have made it this far. I hope you guys have been enjoying this journey as much as I have been. This cut is something I didn't really think I was gonna do, but you know what, we pushed through it. Uh, we made it the best thing we could have ever made it. So we are gonna head to the gym pretty soon and we are gonna meet up with a couple buddies. I do have a small surprise though. We are gonna go to a new gym, but I'm not gonna tell you just yet till we get there. But before that, we have to do eat a pre-workout meal. Unfortunately, we ran out of regular eggs, so we're gonna stick to egg whites for right now. We'll probably buy some to eat some later. We also have a turkey press, which we're gonna use and make for two sandwiches, and that should be my pre-workout meal. Also too, this is a sandwich I've been using, the butter bread. I get about, I wanna say 52 grams of carbs, 50-ish, 58, somewhere around there. But we're gonna go ahead and cook up these egg whites and I'll check back with you guys. All right, this is the finished product. All it is is just two sandwiches, some turkey ham, some sugar-free ketchup in there and on the plate. And then I'm just drinking some water. I'm gonna quickly down this, which we do have to get going kind of soon. And so fast digesting carb right here, which is why I'm eating it right now. You guys can do this or rice cakes or pretty much anything that's fast digesting. White rice too, sort of. Anything else is just like, it's not fast digesting. It's gonna sit in your stomach for a while, so I recommend you guys take a longer time to drink it pre and to go to the gym. But let's down this real quick. All right, so what's up guys? We're now at the gym. The new gym that I'm at is the gym downtown in Orlando. So far, this gym looks very, very impressive. They look like they got everything you need. This is definitely a gym I would highly recommend to a powerlifter. I'm not a powerlifter myself, but I do like doing some strength training whenever I can. But currently we are cutting, so no reason to go super heavy. We're gonna get started with this workout. I did say it was gonna be a shoulder and arm workout. My headphones are currently not working, so we're gonna have to just deal with no music. You can, you can hear it's pretty quiet, which is what I like. For that, hear weights moving over what LA does and has some like crap music, in my opinion. I need some hardcore music, but we'll still get a decent workout. So let's get started. So one thing I, I don't usually mention all the time, even though I do mention my TikTok videos, one thing I am a big you know advocate for is doing drop sets. Most of the time you will see me, or pretty much every time, I would do a drop set on my last set. So the way it will go, I'll do the first three sets, you know, regular sets. And then on my fourth one, after I do my whatever number I'm on, I'll drop the weight, do another like 10 to 12 reps drop the weight again, and then do that again and go until failure. That way for me, I seen the best result. You guys can try that too. You can try doing drop sets. It doesn't work for everybody, I'm pretty sure, but I'm, it is definitely gonna work for the majority. So if you are curious to know how I made so much progress, literally drop sets. You guys are welcome. <music> I never tried this kind of rear delt machine. Definitely feels smooth. Something new for me. It's only 150 pounds, so go a little, not super light, but I can definitely go a little heavier. So for the next set, we are gonna go a little heavier to 160. See how that feels. It's crazy, bro. Like this side is all bodybuilding. <laughs> and the other side, which I'm looking at right now where my buddies are at, it's all powerlifting. Like just wild what you can get with a powerlifting gym. Just look at this. This is crazy. This is amazing. I haven't, I don't think I've ever been to a power, actual powerlifting gym, but hey, might got my approval on it, so I recommend it. All right, guys. So this is uh, mid-workout. We're just punching back today. It's no longer an arm workout. We, uh, we're boxers now. We're no longer bodybuilders. So I am a professional.
All right, that's enough joking around. Let's get back to the workout. We are bodybuilders slash power lifters. But we're eating. the cardio wave got all the guys here all the boys george is doing george is there by himself listening to music <laughs> meanwhile me and brian let's go on that heartbreak <laughs> oh stay tuned we might hit this well i might hit this gym another time again but so far i love it it's good <laughs> got a great pump great workout that you guys are gonna you guys seen you might see it on ig before it comes out this man's being a fool. Uh, All right, I'll check back with you guys after I'm done with this. All right, guys, so this is what the post-workout meal is looking like. I got a little too hungry, so I started eating some of it. I just cannot wait to eat. Freaking felt depleted, but got a good pump. I'm also using this sugar-free syrup. Right here, it's a lot of good amount of protein. Uh, not that much carbs, even though, because I ran out of bananas, but we're gonna go to Walmart later and do some grocery shop. But I'm gonna go ahead and down this and uh, shower and just get all cleaned up. So it's currently the next two days. I I honestly did not record yesterday. We ended up having a leg workout for Sunday, which was yesterday. Today is already Monday. Today is already work day, all that good stuff. I had a leg day yesterday. It was pretty good. It was a quick one, really. I did my usual, it was quad day, so squats, three sets of those at 3.45. I hit first two sets for three reps. I stopped it there, just cause I was tired. And then my last one, I lowered it down to 3.25, ripped that out for five reps. That went pretty good. Hack squat, been going down a lot slower. Kept the weight relatively light, at least for me. Maybe not for y'all, but for me it's light. So we did three plates on each side, plus a 10 and a five. I set my feet a lot lower than usual. That's usually what I've been doing. I do that so I can target my quads more and activate them more. Once I go down, I try to push out my knees so that way I get a lot of quad activation. After that, I ended up just doing uh, leg extensions and finishing off of that with some hip adductors. So that was good. Guys, currently we've been weigh weighing at 161 and just been stuck there. I think it's mainly because my body is just being annoying now, even though I wanna try to get to 155. But the crazy part is somehow I still feel like I'm getting leaner. I don't know, my face is still like getting leaner. Certain parts of my body are getting leaner. So I'm not complaining. Maybe the weight is just not what matters right now. So we'll see. Right now, having some coffee, some eggs, and then turkey ham. That it is, this is gonna be my breakfast. Also too, guys, you know, when you're drinking coffee and you're on a cut, you stuff that sugar free. That way you don't pile up on a lot of sugar. And if you are gonna use, you know, more like sugar stuff, just don't use too much of it and take, take that into account with your calories. Today is gonna be a rest day, guys. So no gym today. I'm just gonna be editing videos until it's time for me to go to work. And that's pretty much it. I already cleaned the house for this weekend, so don't have much to do. I already bought food from Walmart and I did most of my errands during the weekend. So I'm just chilling. Plus two, everybody's working today. It's already Monday, so there's nobody I can really try to hang out with. I figure best time to get some work done and just go on with the day. So I'm all done with work and I just got back from Walmart. Uh, I decided to buy some Zangtan gum. I low-key want to try and make some protein ice cream so I can see if my uh, cravings can go down. I can get full on it. I've never made it before. I don't have the Ninja Creamy, so we're going to do this thing old-fashioned use all these ice cubes and put it in a blender. Hopefully this thing comes out good. Cause if not, then I just wasted a bunch of ingredients and I bought the same thing go for no reason. But I've been seeing on TikTok that it works that way. So we're gonna find out. All right, guys, I think I did a successful job. This is what it looks like using the Zankton's gum and uh, you know, some stevia. I mean, not stevia, some Truvia and ice. Let's see what it tastes as. Not bad. Yo, I could definitely see 
how this is gonna fill me up for sure. All right, I guess we're gonna start making these from now on. Let's go, baby. So guys, on top of the protein ice cream, I'm also having pancakes too. Low key, that protein ice cream got me full, but we're gonna go ahead and down this and then probably watch some of that. Uh, they finally put that version on Netflix. I already seen all the movies, but I'm probably just gonna rewatch them again and just reminisce some memories of the movie. So what you're looking at so far is my last meal for the day. Pretty much, this is a egg white pizza, as I like to call it. It has broccoli, a little bit of chicken I had left over, and then the sugar-free ketchup alongside with some collagen. That way my joints could be lubricated, good for your skin, hair, nails, all that good stuff. And it helps you recover because it has some EAs in this one from Gorilla Mine. So go get it. Anyways, this is my last meal. I With this, it will be a total of 1800 for the day. That is a wrap for today's vlog. I hope you guys have been in, uh, enjoying the vlog so far in the series. Let me know what else you guys want to see on top of the cutting series. I have some ideas in mind, but I'm willing to hear you guys out. If there's anything you guys want me to show you, go right ahead. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with someone who you think will find this very enjoyable. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.